Hi everybody, Joan here. Welcome back to my channel. I am way behind on filming my hauls and even listing stuff, so I've got to knock a few of these things out and hopefully get some of these things sold. This um, might be two stores. I don't think I filmed any of this stuff yet. If I have, please forgive me. Um, and I guess we'll just get started. And I'd appreciate it if you're not already subscribed. Please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up. And that'll help me out. And I appreciate it. So let's get started. Let's see. We'll go with these first. These are four. Um, not four. I thought I had four. But now I can't find the fourth one. The little coffee mugs. The it looks like LK on the bottom. I'm not sure who that is is made by. I'm going to have to research that. But I got three of those. And that's it on those. And then there's two Ray Dunn mugs. Bow Wow. I don't remember what I paid for that one. And then here's a Mister. I don't remember what I paid for that one either. They take these things off. So let's push them to the back. And then if for Starbucks, I got a Hawaii mug. That was $2. This one, um, it's one of those, can you see in the, I have one that's brand new in a box for sale, but I figured I'd grab this one. Uh, there's the information on that one. Here's another one from Peru. That was $2. And one more from Atlanta, and that was $2. So I'll get them photographed and up in my shop, either on Etsy or um, eBay, and my shop on both of those. Now I've now opened a eBay shop, and it's twice new goods, the same as my Etsy shop. So let's move those out of the way. Um, I don't know that I filmed this before, but I threw this up here. Cute little strawberry vase and let's see if we can get that around so we can read that um it's made in germany so i'll have to do some research on that but i thought that was really cute little bud vase and I have this in my hand this is a little pottery bowl whoa careful john and i can't read looks like maybe ka mm, not sure where that other mark is but I thought that was very pretty. So we'll put that to the side. I'm gonna make some room here. This is poor planning on my part. This thing is super duper, super heavy. Crystal vase that I got for six dollars at Goodwill. And it's got a sticker on it. Royal Limited Crystal from the Czech Republic. So hopefully that will do well soon at Christmas time. Let's get these babies out of the way. And then here we have a cute little Christmas tree teapot. It was $2. There's something scratched in the bottom of it, but I can't read that. But I thought that was cute. And then on the Christmas stuff too, this is a left in China. I don't know if you would use that as a creamer, I guess. Or is it just a, a replica of the old, um, oh, I can't even think what it is, like the jugs that used to <clears throat> be in the dry sinks. So I don't know. <clears throat> that was $2.99 at 2nd Avenue. And here we have a little tiki, I would imagine, shot glass. But he was kind of cute. In the back here, we have a little cat bank. It's just a clay pottery. There's this little slot. He was $3.99 at 2nd Avenue. But I thought he was kind of cute. Look at that little face. Very cute. Here's another Starbucks mug. Um, it's probably missing its top. So I don't know how much I can get for that. But, you know, hey, it's Starbucks. People like Starbucks. This is, looks vintage to me, Justice for All Lawyer mug. There are no markings on it, so I'll have to do some research on that. 
but I thought that was cute. <clears throat> this isn't modern. I mean, this is modern. It's not vintage, but Milk for Santa from Cracker Barrel. But I thought that would be cute for the holidays. And then this little set looks like a creamer and little sugar bowl. I don't know if it came with a tea set or not. It's made by the Pigeon Forge Pottery in Tennessee. So let me turn this over. So there's that. And I paid, it was half off whatever this was, $2. It was four dollars. What? No, I'm sorry. It was six dollars for a set once, and now it's four dollars. So, paid four dollars for that. And this is one of my favorite favorite. I this is going to be hard to give up, but I do have it listed on eBay already. It's made by Wardle, England. You see that? And it's an old chamber um, candlestick. But how pretty is that? If I can do this carefully, there's where you would stick the candle. Um, but that to me is stunning. There is some crazing on it, but I think that's just the age of it. And apparently this is from the 1800s, if my research is correct. There's no chips or cracks. There's a little flea bite there. Um, and there's some imperfections here, but that's just part of the manufacturing. So I thought that was pretty cool. So anyway, that's it, I believe, and um, hopefully we can get this stuff listed and sold, and we'll see you soon. Thanks for subscribing. Appreciate you stopping by. Bye.